Elon's going ahead and deciding to uh, drop the whole two weeks meme on us once again because apparently the FSD Beta 10, which is using a completely retrained neural net, according to Elon, that will be dropping one week from this Friday at midnight, and he believes that it's ironed out enough that by 10.1 or 10.2, one of those updated incremental versions, they'll feel comfortable rolling out the beta button two weeks after a week from Friday. So essentially doing some... Uh, simple math for you. That means that Elon believes that we'll have mass rollout of the beta program by the end of September. And it's easy for me to get excited about this because sometimes when Elon gets more specific about his timelines, they end up being a tad more accurate opposed to just the in about a month or so or in a couple weeks we'll do this. Now he's saying, you know, like at this specific time we're dropping beta 10 and from his internal testing of it, he's been very, very impressed and was saying in the past that beta 9.2 was not that impressed which I thought was funny to hear from Elon because for, you know, months and months and months he was telling us how much Beta 9 changes everything. Beta 9's way better. We're going all in on vision and this is going to make the system work so much better. And then 9.2 rolls around and he's like, yeah, I'm not super impressed by that. But Beta 10, this is the one, okay? This is the legit thing that should expect all kinds of neural net training to allow for a much more smoothened out, ironed out, self-driving experience. And the running theme I've been telling people whenever I get asked, like, should we trust Elon's timeline on this one or should we not expect it at all i mean it's always safe to lean on the side of caution and assume that we're still on elon time but i've consistently been telling people to expect the mass rollout of the beta by the end of this year okay i could be way off on that one hopefully we get it by the end of september because obviously this is elon's first big confirmation of like a neural net rework and a big full self-driving beta launch after tesla ai day and Keep in mind, we're still not using the Dojo training computer, but we've seen a lot of growth within the beta program, but simultaneously, sometimes when they fix certain features, it breaks others, and trying to get the full self-driving suite in this perfect harmony between being aggressive enough in certain circumstances and being more timid and being more cautious in certain circumstances, right now it seems to have backwards in a lot of ways. It's like a little too aggressive in certain areas and a little too timid in others, but I have to imagine with all of this new training they've got based on a vision-based architecture, which now is not accommodating for radar anymore, Tesla has rolled out their driver attention awareness features through the cabin camera, even to the cars that are still equipped with radar, which I didn't think had to wait for that feature, but apparently they did. Now they have it, so the car will be able to tell if you're not keeping your eyes on the road. It's just another safety precaution that Tesla is likely rolling out because of the stupid stupid consumer reports article saying, hey, we can find a way to abuse this system if we put weights on the wheel and all that, but either way, it's probably good for the sake of safety. And as the beta is going to roll out to more and more people, this could potentially get very dangerous very quickly. Not because I think that the software is bad or that the software is going to cause a collision. It's actually a miracle that around 2,000 people are on the FSD beta right now and no reported collisions or no accidents have happened while on the beta, but it's it's probably because this limited group of 2,000 beta testers know that they have lots of eyes on them. Tesla is watching their stats and they only rolled out the beta to people who had good driving history and were statistically proven to not be abusing autopilot in its features. Once we start rolling out the beta button to everyday people, we're going to start getting some of the cringy TikTok people that love trying to abuse the systems or do clickbait where they turn on the system and then jump in the back seat. So I'm glad the driver awareness features are rolling out to everyone now and it's not just about keeping your hand on the wheel it's also about tracking your eyes but we know someone's gonna find some way to abuse this and when we roll out this type of beta software to tens of thousands of people possibly hundreds of thousands of people depending on what the take rate is for full self-driving or if people that subscribe to full self-driving for a monthly price will they be able to access the beta button if so there's likely going to be a huge amount of data coming in for Tesla to 
hopefully train their neural nets to make better. You know, they'll have an insane amount of edge cases to pull from now, but I'm just going to lean on the side of caution that there may be a few accidents, a few collisions once they aren't able to keep track of this many, you know, internal beta testers. Now it's public and just seeing how crazy the headlines are already with how people that aren't even using autopilot will crash into other vehicles and that'll make headlines saying that Tesla's with self-driving features are crashing into emergency vehicles. It's like, there's never been a time where Tesla said to keep your hands off the wheel or keep your eyes off the road. If a Tesla crashes, it's because the driver wasn't paying attention, just like literally any other vehicle that crashes. So the media is already fairly biased against Tesla, so I just have to imagine that if they roll out this public beta and people start abusing it or not paying close enough attention to it and it does cause a collision, imagine the headlines around that story. You know, it's just going to get worse and worse. So I just really, really hope that beta 10.1 and beta 10.2 are so reliable and so good that the chances of an accident happening and the chances of something going wrong are so insanely low that there's a very small chance of that collision or potentially someone getting hurt because they're using the software takes place. But just keep in mind for those excited about this beta, there is no word yet on Tesla assuming more liability. There's no current timeline that Elon has given on when they plan on making that jump from level two to level three autonomous driving, which means even if the car is able to take you from point A to point B with no interventions, still got to keep your hand on the wheel, still got to pay attention, keep your eyes on the road, and you got to be able to take over at a moment's notice. So please do not miss that point at all because the people who do miss that and abuse this system make it worse for the rest of us. And that results in everybody having to wait longer. But my last bit of potential bad news for you is if this feature does start rolling out to the public, we need to probably anticipate a price hike because Tesla has increased prices before on full self-driving for features that were way less interesting than this FSD beta that allows city street turning and roundabouts and, you know, point A to B driving autonomously. I would not be shocked if we see a jump to $12,000 outright or $14,000 potentially because they know there's going to be huge demand for the full self-driving package once this feature is available and definitely expect the FSD subscription to go up in price as well. Could jump up to $230, 250 in this case. But I'm curious if your guys' price predictions once the public beta does officially roll out and do you think it will roll out by the end of this month? All that good stuff. Let me know what you're thinking. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.